there, this is Paola, your customer success manager here at TrustCloud, and today we're going to go over understanding third-party risk assessments. A third-party risk assessment is a process designed to evaluate and manage the risks associated with engaging with external vendors. It involves identifying, analyzing, and mitigating potential risks throughout the life cycle of the vendor relationship. There are four key components of third-party risk assessments, and these are risk identification, risk evaluation, risk mitigation, and ongoing monitoring. We're going to go over each one. The first one being risk identification. In this step, you will determine what risks are associated with the vendor based on their services, access to data, and operational impact. You'll then move on to the second step, which is risk evaluation. In this step, you're going to assess the potential impact and likelihood of these identified risks. This includes evaluating the vendor's security practices, financial stability, and compliance with regulations. The third step is risk mitigation. In this step, you're going to develop strategies to manage and reduce the identified risks. This may involve setting contractual obligations, implementing monitoring mechanisms, and establishing contingency plans. And the fourth and final step is ongoing monitoring. In this step, you're going to continuously monitor the vendor's performance and risk profile throughout the duration of the contract. Regular reviews and updates to ensure emerging risks are addressed promptly. Now we're going to go over real-world examples of third-party vendor assessments, the first one being in the financial sector. In this example, a bank might assess the risk of its third-party payment processor. The bank needs to ensure that the processor adheres to security standards and complies with regulations to avoid data breaches or fraud that could impact the bank's reputation and financial stability. The second example is in the healthcare sector. A hospital may evaluate the risk of its electronic record ERH software provider. This assessment would focus on data protection, compliance with healthcare regulations like HIPAA, and the provider's ability to handle sensitive patient information securely. The third example is in the retail sector. A large retailer could assess the risk associated with its suppliers and vendors, such as those providing logistic services or manufacturing goods. The assessment might include evaluating the supplier's financial stability, adherence to labor laws, and environmental practices to avoid disruptions in the supply chain or reputational damage. And the fourth and final example is in the technology sector. A tech company might conduct a risk assessment of its cloud service provider. The evaluation would include the provider's data security measures, disaster recovery plans, and compliance with industry standards to ensure that sensitive data and applications are protected. These assessments help organizations identify potential risks associated with third-party relationships and implement strategies to mitigate those risks effectively. In conclusion, managing third-party vendor risk is essential to safeguarding your organization's assets, ensuring compliance, and maintaining operational continuity. By conducting thorough risk assessments and implementing robust risk management strategies, you can mitigate potential threats and build stronger, more resilient relationships with your vendors. Thank you for your attention and remember that effective third-party risk management is a key component of a comprehensive risk management strategy.